Okay, so now you're on Sugar Hill Records, which is, you know, the first label with a hit song in hip hop, yep. period. So, and, and they're signing a lot of the other groups in yours. You're, you're just, you know, one of many groups on Sugar Hill at this time. Yeah. So you guys start dropping singles. And I guess Freedom was the first single? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And that, that was a smash. Uh, it sampled Get Up and Dance by, by the group Freedom. Uh, later on, it was actually sampled by SWV right. for the song Anything. And, and, and actually, uh, Freedom was supposed to be a Love Bug Starsky song. Mm. But he had a lisp, and she didn't want to record, you know, it's like you, they didn't record people that spoke in back in the day, like Biggie had a lisp. And for people that don't know what a lisp is, like a lisp, look, you know, like how would Biggie be slurring his words like that? And it's called a lisp. So she didn't sign Starsky because he had a lisp. And then uh, she let us uh, put our, our, our thing on the record. And that's how Freedom came about. But it was originally for Love Bucks Starsky. Okay. And then, you know, a few more songs came out. Uh, the Birthday, yeah, the birthday party, party, Showdown, yeah. uh, It's Nasty, Scorpio, which was the electro record. Right, right. Was that the first electro hip hop record? No, no it, actually, it was for Planet Rock, but we did that because Planet hmm. Rock was the trend uh, uh, back then. So we, you know, we like you know, got to do something, you know, to stay in in that with in the trend where the music was going, and then that's when we did Scorpio. Okay, and were you close to Africa Bambata? Well, we all grew up together. Now I'm not saying we was close because see, what 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 it was back then, it was it wasn't like it was beef, but it was always competition. So Bam was the competition. And we, you know, we had healthy respect for him because, you know, we had the Zulu Nation. You know, you would do the anniversary. We would come. We perform. You know, so we wasn't necessarily close, but we, you know, we we all, we traveled the same circle. So we was good. I mean, when you fast forward years later, when you hear about the accusations uh, of Bambata, you know, about the molestation charges and, and everything else like that, what's your take on that? Well, I mean... It, it's not. It's not like people didn't know, or, or, or it wasn't like it wasn't a. It wasn't. It's not like it was something that was unknown, in other words. But it was just really? something that was. It was like, you know, maybe hip hop's best kept secret or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know. Okay, so you knew, and you think everyone pretty much knew that Africa Bambada was gay. What, it is what it is. I mean, you know. I mean, you got people that would deny it. You got people that would say they don't know. I'm saying everybody knew it, so it was all right there. So, I mean, you know. Well, I mean, being gay is, is you know, especially these days is perfectly acceptable, not not a big deal, but messing with underage boys is something completely different. Well, you, you see, that that part about it, you would have to interview him because, you know, I, I, my... I, my our, our whole thing and my whole thing is like I said. It's like I said. Um, is everybody knew, you know? It ain't, it ain't like it was. It wasn't. It wasn't like it was a mystery. Well, you know, it was. Yeah. You know, that's bam. That's who you know. 